Hello, my name is Christine Trong and I am the CEIN Education Intern and today I'm going to show you how to clean up your own mini oil spill using nanotechnology. Well, here you can see your two cups halfway full of water and a layer of oil on top. And this is going to be your mini oil spill. As you can see, the oil is a separate layer from the water and that's because it is hydrophobic, which means it is afraid of water and therefore it won't mix. So, now we are going to clean up your mini oil spill using these two types of sand. As you can see, they look super, super similar. They're both red and they both look like regular sand. However, one is regular sand and one is magic sand. This magic sand is actually a part of nanotechnology. And I will show you how cool it is when you start cleaning up oil. All right, so now we're gonna start cleaning up our oil spill with our regular sand. So, let's move these to the side so you can focus on this oil spill. I'm gonna sprinkle the sand over the layer of oil, like this. Watch and see what happens. As you can see, it looks sort of like a lava lamp. The oil is falling to the bottom, but it is coming back up. And the sand stays on the bottom. The reason that the oil comes back down in the first place is because of gravity. So the, the weight of the sand pulls down the oil, but there is no bond or connection between the oil or the sand, so the oil just floats back up. And once I finish this cup of sand, if I leave it to sit for a couple of days or weeks, you will eventually see all the oil come back up to the top. So this sand is actually not cleaning up any oil. So this, if you jiggle a little bit, is regular sand. Shake. All right. Now we're going to clean up our second oil spill using our magic sand or our nano sand, so to speak. This sand is different because every grain of sand is coated with a one nanometer layer of a silicon compound, which makes the sand actually hydrophobic. So this means that the sand will bond to the oil because like likes like. Watch and see the difference. Plop. See that? So not as much oil is going back to the top. Keep on doing it. Eventually this more and more sand would bond to more and more oil. So you see there's some oil floating back to the top, but that's only because that oil was not bonded to any of the sand grains, and so naturally it'll flow back to the top. But if I keep putting on sand, it will eventually bond and also fall down to the bottom. Alright, so now the sand has been added. Now if you do a close-up of the different oil layers, you can see that the oil spill with the regular sand has a thicker layer than the oil spill with the nano sand. And so, there you have it. You just cleaned up your mini oil spill using nanotechnology.